Okay, in this video I'm going to show you the basic features of your basic consumer end uh, digital multimeter. Uh, what you have here, uh, you probably have these symbols. If you have a more complicated one, it will have more variables per setting. Uh, but these are the basic settings that you find on most digital multimeters. So the first one is DCV, and that stands for Direct Current Voltage. That's good for testing things like batteries. And what you want to do here, I've got a battery. You put the negative, which is black, on the negative side of the battery. And you can just look on your battery. It'll have a negative and then a positive. You put that on. And here we have a good battery. Now, um, the lower grade multimeter, the less accurate. but for testing batteries and things like that you're going to be fine using one like this. So we've got 1.627 volts coming through this battery. It's a good battery. Uh, bad batteries typically even if it comes in at 1.5 you're going to notice weak performance and anything below 1.5 you would consider a bad battery or a failing battery. Um, going to the next setting here um, this test alternate uh, AC current is alternating current. Um, you probably just want to stay away from testing anything like sticking this in your outlets. Um, it's rated, this particular one goes up to 400 volts. However, there's no fuses in here. And uh, just watch some YouTube videos online of people um, frying these or talking about frying these or exploding in their faces. Uh, now, it may be unlikely, but there is the the potential for it. And so, if you're just a consumer end, I personally would stay away from any high voltage uh, things. But this setting would allow you to test. You want to make sure that you're not sticking it in any... Well, read the manual to know the limits of your digital multimeter. But even still, unless it has ceramic fuses, I'd just stay away from alternating current in general. That's this that's uh, the deadly current okay so next what you have here this setting will test diodes and what a diode is is kind of a one-way street for electricity when the electricity goes in it can't go back so it keeps electricity flowing in one direction I'll give you an example here what I have is a LED this is a light emitting diode there's diodes that don't emit light and so we'll go ahead and put this on positive that's actually the negative lead but I'll show you okay that's coming in at 0.57 volts this is rated at half a volt so we're, we're good go ahead and flip it around and nothing's coming through so this is a good uh, diode um, that's what that setting is for. The next one here tests resistance. I actually don't have any resistors uh, on hand for this. I'll put a picture up so you can see what they are. And resistors limit the amount of electricity uh, going through. Um, kind of like a fuse, they're not exactly the same. A fuse does re resist electricity to a point and then it burns out. It'll blow at a certain point. But uh, this this setting allows you to test the resistance. Any of these diodes or uh, resistors you want to be testing unplugged. If, if it's a, attached to the device, you want to unplug it. Now the next setting here is continuity. And so what this allows you to do is test any kind of circuit to make sure it's complete. Or you can use it to test cables and wires. So I'll show you here. I've got an extension cord. We'll go ahead and put one lead, and this doesn't really matter what you put in what. So that is good. Flip it around and test the other one. All right, so we know that electricity is making it from the wall to here. So that's what that's for. I hope this video was helpful in showing you the basic features of a digital multimeter and how to use them. 
Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I'd like to hear them in the section below. And if this video was helpful, you can help me by clicking the like button. Thanks for watching.